Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're gonna work with some pins, but which pins? Uh, we got pins mostly from the motherboard, from the hard drive device, from the optical device, and uh, some little phone and yeah, a couple of from this server, but. We will not remove that pins. We will do today this together with the plastic. Uh, why? Because uh, I, I have a lot to drop and uh, I really can't, can't spare time to remove that pins. It's a pain in the ass to remove that pins from that plastic. So, I have these pins too. And uh, what I do is uh, I'm gonna do that pins in that bucket it's already ready for the uh, process these not and uh, what I'm do I remove all that extra metal uh, like this see that this connector and this outside metal is eat too much acid even that box uh, and trust me, it's very, very fast to remove that. I'm gonna show you like how. how. See, this is graphic connector. And you just clamps here, other side. and should be easily removed. You just put the clamps here and squeeze. See that? And, okay, now we put that in a bucket. Cool. And uh, this is from the, some Bluetooth, USB. And okay, see that? It's very easy. Okay, what we got next? We got some blue from graphic card. It's uh, the same process, just remove first. And you see that? Only plastic with pins. But these are stubborn. What you do, same stuff. Here, here, and you see that. And now, this plastic here with the metal. And what we left, only pins with plastic. Okay. Don't worry, acid will go to these holes and uh, eat all that. And uh, from, uh, from, 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 from this stuff, you need to remove all that uh, little board because it's gold plated, but um, got some uh, copper spool. That copper is in the sun glue and that glue will stop us to attack him but maybe that copper will cement gold back okay let's finish all this and we go process okay it's ready
Okay guys, after washing with the hot water, we got our pins clean and uh, I just want to answer for one question uh, about uh, about uh, that pins. I wash from acid so I can touch with the bare hand. See how it's been? It's uh, black It's because uh, acid. See that? And uh, don't worry, alcoholic acid cannot remove gold, so you not lose any gold. I got some nitric here, and when I just put inside, for a second. move you, you will see your gold is back see that not lose any gold see that here just want to show you see that this shiny side I put uh, right now in the nitric acid and he's back his gold color so you not lose any gold when you soak pins in a HCL. So okay, for next, now we will add some hydrochloric acid here and make aquaregia in this bucket. Okay, guys. So I put that in the no matter if bucket is big, always use catch pan and. Uh, here I got two and a half liter hydrochloric acid, 35% strong, and here I got 500 milliliter nitric acid. I will make this aquaregia uh, five pa five part of. HCl and one part of nitric acid, okay? Okay, we add nitric acid and reaction is slowly start. It's cold outside, so need time. Be careful of that fumes. Use gas mask and gloves. Okay, and uh, when the reaction almost done, we need to check, already check on that three spot, stainless test, and I just want to show you the reaction, the speed of reaction for both. See that? Pretty good reaction. We got there. So gold is in a solution, but we will wait for the reaction stop. Sorry about the wind. It's a freaking snow outside. Yeah, yeah reaction is pretty cool. Hey guys, reaction is done, no more bubbles and we still got the gold in solution, so we start to filter, look all that, solution is a very uh, green but the clear, the, there is no trace of rust slug because we remove most of the iron that uh, uh, still that uh, piece of big piece of metal So 
Okay, when we finish filter, filtering, next step is Binox Nitric with Uria. Okay, after we finish decanting a uh, solution and filtering, this is our filter with uh, our golden slug, see that? It's not much, but uh, even not pure, because uh, it's dirty solution and dirty drop, but uh, now we burn that filter and see what we got inside. How much gold? Hey guys, after we melt, all that dirty slug, here what we got, one very very dirty piece of gold and we got some black stuff, you see, got some gold here, but he got some other metal, possible copper, maybe something else, and uh, it's small. But this is a great pin, so just in case to see what gold I got, I'll put that in the just a little nitric acid and put that on heat, low heat to nitric acid dissolve that base metal at that dirty stuff and leave only gold. Okay. Okay. I soak that little dirty bead in the nitric acid, and uh, here we go. So this is not a beautiful bead. Still got some white borax salt, but uh, you see that. It's not a good shape, so it's not round, so the borax stuck on him, but no copper anymore. Uh, so okay, let's see how much we got. 0 0.3 gram. Okay, it's not bad. I expect that much. Uh, why? Because uh, that uh, pins is uh, I process with the plastic, and uh, if I uh, remove that plastic, I got maybe uh, mostly 250-300 gram of that pins because uh, I know I uh, depopulate pins all the time and uh, I know how much I can get from the full of that little white bucket. 
the plastic with the pins. So if you're in a hurry, you can do process in the my way. But if you don't, maybe it's better to remove the plastic and uh, do only pins because uh, this kind of process uh, spent uh, a lot of acid not much not too much nitric but uh, HCl uh, for me a problem there is no problem because my I pay my acid 20 cent per kilo every acid nitric acid uh, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and uh, for me it's not a problem to spend a couple of liter acid for uh, 0.3 gram bead because uh, that bead worth more than acid I spend maybe two two dollar acid and uh, I got 0.3 bead which uh, worth uh, 10 12 dollar so I'm satisfied uh, so I put that with my other beads and uh, I will remove this remove that little 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 amount of borax which is stuck inside but okay I hope you like the video and uh, see you around guys.